Hello, welcome back to another Python 3.7 tutorial. My name is Tom with the Master Code Online. If you don't mind, take a quick moment, leave us a comment below, let us know uh, how we're doing with these tutorials, if I can improve it or not. Otherwise, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. I'll be more than happy to help you out. Today, we're going to take a look at the sorted built-in function. The sorted built-in function should not be confused with the sort method. Uh, the difference between the two is the sorted built-in function returns a new list where the sort method will just modify the list in place. Uh, also, the sorted built-in function according to Python is a little bit more efficient. I didn't test it out myself, but we're going to go with what their developers are saying. So, let's get started. Let's see what the sort built-in function does. So, we're going to create a list. A will represent that list, and we're going to say master code and online. All right. So, now we want to put these this list of strings or these strings in alphabetical order. How do we do that? We're going to say B is equal to, so we're going to create a new object and we'll do sort it A. All right. So now when we call B, we're going to see code master and online. Awesome. Alphabetical order. All right. Let's try another one. Let's go ahead and do C is equal to a list. And in that list, we're going to have, uh, we're going to do numbers 5, 9, 1, 4, uh, 8, 2, 7, and 3, and 6. Close out that list. And we'll go ahead and do um, D is equal to sort it. And we'll call C. Now call D. Or pass C, then we'll call D. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so we're in numerical order now. Sweet. So the sorted function is pretty cool. Just remember, it returns us a new list. Uh, it's a little bit more in a little bit more efficient than the um, sort method. All right. So let's take a look at an optional argument we can pass to the sorted function. And that's going to be reverse. All right. So let's take a look at that. Let's call B real quick. That's what we had up here. And let's go ahead and do E is equal to sort it like that. And we're going to say B. And then we're going to pass a keyword argument. Both optional arguments that go with the sort of building function are keyword arguments. So we got to indicate what they are. And that's reverse equals to true. All right. Default is false. Now we'll call E and we get online master code. All right, so now it's backwards, O-M-C, all right? Cool. Uh, let's clear our screen. Let's go ahead and pull up D. That was our 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, our, our numeric order. Now let's go ahead and reverse that. We'll say F's going to re uh, represent that, and we'll say uh, sort it. And we'll say D, and then we'll pass the keyword, our keyword argument of reverse is equal to true. And we'll call F and we get nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So that's the reverse argument in the sorted function. Now let's take one more look at the other optional argument, and that is the key argument. Basically it allows us to add some functionality to the sort. Alright. So I'm gonna create a new list. A is equal to, and we're gonna go back to our master. And then this time I'm gonna make code lowercase and online lowercase here all right and the reason why we're doing this is because I want to show you what happens uh, let's go ahead and do it first sort it and we'll call and pass a as an argument we get master which is an M then code and O all right that's not alphabetical order even though we told it the alphabetical order now the caps mean something here the uppercase letters mean something uppercase comes before lowercase all right so the uppercase comes first and then it does the lowercase uh, alphabetical order all right so that could be an issue if we're trying to just put the words in alphabetical order right so how would we fix that well we can do sort it and then we can say a and then we can go ahead and pass the key keyword argument and we're going to say str dot caseful now if you remember back to our string um, method tutorials where we talk about casefold. Casefold removes any case distinction in a string. So basically what we're going to do is remove the case distinction here for a moment while the sorted function runs. We're going to say, hey, ignore any case distinction here. Run it as if they're all had no case information and then return, return the alphabetical order that way. Don't actually change the object because it will not change the object. If you notice we got code master online didn't 
change the uppercase to a lowercase or anything like that. They didn't remove the case information. It just momentarily took it and ran it with the sort of function. So there you go. You can actually use any method you want in here. You can actually use different other stuff, but we don't have time for that right now. But uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll show you how to do some other cool stuff in another tutorial. So there you go. There's the sort of building function. I'll see you in the next tutorial.